This is a short video to show you how to clean the push button switches and volume controls on your Newtone intercom system remote speakers. This speaker is a model IS305. It was used with the IM3003 systems that were made between 1984 and 1993. After 28 years of trying different types of cleaners for switches and volume controls, I find that the Deoxit brand uh, is one of the best types of contact cleaner uh, that you can buy on the market today. Uh, the company that makes this has a lot of different series. This is the D series and you can see here it's D5 and it says clearly chemically improves metal to metal connections and contacts dissolves corrosion, improves contact, and protects surfaces. This is a very good type. This is what we use on a daily basis for our service calls and here in the shop. Along with that, I also like the Deoxit F series. This is F5. Uh, this does many of the same things that the D5 does clean, but it also lubricates. It has some lubricant in it, which is beneficial if you have really worn switches or really worn volume controls. So let's take a look at the speaker now. This IS305 is one of my shop speakers. It's one of the test speakers that I use when you send me your 3003 for repair. Uh, your master station is hooked up to this plus other speakers just like this to check its operation and its sound. What you see here on the close-up is you have a rotary volume control and the three intercom buttons inside patio talk, door talk, and end call. What typically happens with this is dirt and dust filters down through the wall cavities over the years and that dirt and dust gets inside the volume controls and gets inside the push button switches. What the problem this causes is when you rotate the volume control the wiper contact inside the volume control will move across a dirty spot and you'll lose the sound from the speaker. Also, when the dirt gets inside the push button switches and the contact surfaces slide across each other as you push and operate the control, you get a lot of loud scratchy sounds on the intercom system which is kind of unpleasant and if it's bad enough, people will stop using their systems. So a little bit of preventive cleaning will go a long ways in solving these problems. For the cleaning to be effective, you have to get the cleaner down inside the switch, not on the chrome push button, not on the volume control knob, but down inside. To get the cleaner down inside, you have to remove these button caps. Sometimes, if you're lucky, you can pull them with your finger and they'll come off like that. This one's not particularly easy to do. I'm going to leave the last one on to show you another way. You can see now that the cap is off on the door talk button and the end call button, you can see the plastic stem of the switch. And this is the portion that when you push the button, this is what moves back and forth. All of the switches uh, Newtone intercom speakers are made of plastic and they're not super strong and if you're not careful in removing the button caps you can actually tear the switch in half which then ruins it. So care is necessary and I'm going to show you another way to take these off which sometimes works better. The volume controls it's the same situation. Sometimes you can simply pull it off. This one won't do it most of the time you need a small flat screwdriver and you can wedge it under the knob to pull it up a little bit and then carefully pull it off. Again, now you can see the plastic stem of the volume control and although it would be hard to see at this point, down inside here there's a little punch out in the body of the volume control and that's where the cleaner is going to go. What I'm going to do now is turn over the speaker and we're going to remove the switchboard from the station so you can get a better look at what needs to be done. So here's the switchboard. I've removed it from the back of the speaker grill so you can see what's on it easier. These blue wires are the wires that go up and connect to the speaker cone on the back of the grill. Then you have the three push button switches. 
There's a few passive components, a couple capacitors, a diode, two resistors, and the volume control. Let's look at the volume control first. If I tip it up, now you can see you have the plastic stem that the knob fits on, you have the round metal body of the volume control, and here you can see the punch out in the body. This is where you'll spray the cleaner to clean the interior contacts of the volume control. When it comes to the push button switches, you can see here the body is made up of two parts. You have the black base, you have the black base and the white top with the white plastic stem. The stem moves in and out through the opening in the white top. The contacts of the switch are inside the body. If you pull, try to pull the chrome cap off and you're too aggressive because it's stuck, you'll tear apart the white top from the black body and ruin the switch. If that happens, this entire switchboard will have to be replaced. These switches are not available to buy any longer. In fact, they were never a part that was sold separately. This switchboard is considered a single assembly. So oftentimes the easiest way to do this is to take the switchboard out of the speaker frame and do it uh, where it's out in the open it's easier to see. Once you take it out, removing the cap is somewhat easier because you can hold the switchboard in your fingers and just pull the cap right off. So before I clean the volume control, let's listen to what it sounds like when I turn it. It makes a sound, it sounds somewhat like a zipper moving back and forth. It's the sound of the wiper inside the volume control moving across the wire wound carbon ring. The dirt settles over the, over the wire on the carbon ring and as you turn the control, it moves the wiper. When you move it onto a dirty spot, that's when you lose the connection. So starting with your D5 cleaner, Use the little red plastic nozzle and spray a little bit into the punch out. Then rotate it back and forth, its full travel three or four times, and then spray it one more time. Rotate it again. Normally when we do this at a customer's house during a service call, we're doing it with the speaker still connected to the system and the music playing through the system. So as you clean and rotate the volume controls, you can judge how effective you're being. When we're on a service call and the customer's speakers are excessively dirty, we'll follow up the D5 cleaner with a little bit of the F5 fader lube. This adds a little bit of extra lubricant into the volume control assembly which makes it move uh, more freely and it's a longer lasting cleansing of the control. Now let's look at the push button switches. They're all essentially the same and again you have the black plastic base, the white plastic top with the stem that moves in and out through the top What's needed to be done is the cleaner needs to get down inside the body of the switch. The only way to do that, and if you look really carefully, you'll see there's these small little gaps between, right there, between the movable stem and the top of the switch. These little gaps is where the cleaner needs to go. So again, starting with the D5, Use your red plastic nozzle and you need to put it up right up against the stem and shoot the cleaner into the little gap. And you could actually see how the fluid filled the gap and then drained down into the body of the switch. So now we know the cleaner is inside. When you do this on a service call, you spray it and then you operate the button back and forth several times to see how effective it is. Many times you'll need to do it twice and then operate the switch again. This helps clean the oxidation and dirt and grime off the contacts inside the switch 
It also helps eliminate the scratching noise that it makes from wear and tear. If it's really, really bad, once again, follow it up with some of the F5 cleaner or lubricant and that will make the cleaning last longer and usually quiet the, the switch down. Once you've done all of these, continue on to the next speaker in your house. Many people tell me that after they've gone through and done their five, six, or seven speakers in their house, they'll realize that they've gotten better at doing this as they went on and they'll go back and do the first ones they did over again uh, to make sure they're really good. Generally speaking, a cleaning like this only needs to be done once every five or six years. However, if your speakers are 20, 25 years old and this is the first time they've ever been cleaned, you might find that after two weeks they become slightly noisy again and you'll want to spend a little bit of time and go around and clean them a second time and that's usually will take care of any. Let's talk about the cleaners one more time. The Deoxit company makes a lot of different series of cleaners. We use the D series D5 for general purpose cleaning. I like the F series F5 for follow up cleaning on really dirty controls. Uh, as a point of interest, the why, why is it D5 and why is it F5? These are 5% solutions of the deoxid formula. You can also get it in stronger. They make it all the way up to 100% strength, which isn't necessary for the type of cleaning that we do. Uh, they also make other series. This is the G series, which is G for gold, of course, and this is G5. This is specifically designed for metal contacts that are gold plated. You don't need that for intercom work. You only need the D5 and the F5. Uh, people have a tendency to want to buy what they view as the very best and well if it's a gold series it must be better. It's not really appropriate for this type of work or this application so don't buy it. Also don't buy the stronger uh, formulas just the 5% formula is fine. The other thing about cleaning the speakers is this is what I call a less is more project. You don't need to flood the switches and flood the volume controls with a huge quantity of the cleaners. A little bit goes a long ways. In fact, in some respects, over cleaning is worse than not cleaning at all. Uh, one can of this will last you probably your lifetime. I use on an average two or three cans of this a month easily. These products are easy to buy. Uh, the D5 is available at Radio Shack stores. Uh, the D5 and the F5 are available at Guitar store, uh, Center stores also. You can buy them on Amazon. They're about twelve or fourteen dollars a can uh, and it's the type of can that when you buy it it's actually full. It hasn't got this much cleaner in it it's got this much cleaner in it, so it'll last you a long time. So clean your switches, clean your volume controls, and you'll find that your system will work much better than it has in a long time.